Hi, my name is Matt Santos. I'm a temporary captain with Central Pierce at uh, Station 68, and it's my pleasure to do a push-in ceremony for all those that haven't ever seen this before. Uh, basically, what we're doing is we're going to take engine uh, 68, which was 03-1, and we're going to decommission it into reserve status. Engine 03-1 was commissioned in the Central Pierce in 2003 to serve the citizens of Parkland. It was housed at Station 61 from 2003 to 2015, where it responded to roughly 43,600 calls. In 2015, it was rehoused to Station 68, where it responded to an additional 12,000 plus calls. Because of where it was positioned in the fire department, it was privileged to respond to most of the high profile incidents that we had had in our district over that period of time. Some incidences included the storage unit fire on Canyon Road, the cold storage uh, warehouse fire, and uh, multiple MBAs, cardiac arrests, and other sick people that they've been uh, able to uh, do life-saving measures on. Over its 19 years of frontline service, it could have not been more possible without the help of the fleet mechanics at uh, Central Pierce's shop. They were always able to provide pride with a reliable ride. This pumper has over 218,000 miles on it and over 14,000 hours of uh, work on its engine. That equates to roughly 400,000 miles of wear and tear. A condensed list of some of the things that have been done to it over its career is complete suspension replacement, four radiators replaced, six battery replacements, three starter motors, two turbos, two transmissions, dozens of tires, and over 26 scheduled service repairs. I'd like to thank Westside Vinyl and uh, uh, for their help in getting everything ready for the other engine. And I'd also like to thank Todd Knoll, Lieutenant Knoll, for his work in trying to get our, our new rig put into service. With the dedication of our new 2021 KME Predator, so engine 68 should be able to provide reliable service to the citizens of Central Pierce for many years to come. Because of its increased capacity and its standardization, it improves a much more reliability for all of our firefighters. With that, I want to also thank, thank the commissioners and the citizens for the continued support. Without that, none of this would be possible. And with that, I'm going to introduce our chaplain, Glenn Lukey. He's going to do a uh, dedication for us. So let us pray. Almighty God, creator and sustainer of us all, we offer and ask you to bless this new apparatus, Engine 68, our lives, our skills, and all the implements of our trade to your glory in the emergency needs of the citizens of Central Pier Fire and Rescue. Walk us through the fire, O oh God. Protect every man and woman of this department as they give their wholehearted devotion to the job to which they have been called. In your holy name, amen. All right, so the history of the push-in ceremony for the fire department goes back into the 1800s when there was horse-drawn steamers. The horses used to come back from, uh, from fires and the heavy steamer pumps were too heavy for the horses to back back into the station. So they used to detach them, wash the horses, wash the steamer pumps, and then the crews would help push the pumps back into the station so they can go on the next run. The symbolism of our, of our process here is we're going to take some tank water from engine 03-1 and we're going to transfer it over to pass the torch to engine 21-3. Ready? <laughs> 